So the changing face of Coronado and of course the entire United States and the world. Walgreens reigns now. They bought out the Rite Aid chain and I don't know what's going to happen, whether they're going to have a storage over there or whether they're just going to eliminate it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that it is the age of, well, let's see, corporate buyouts. And this guy buys this guy out and you don't know who is who anymore. But I just read, uh, had some news yesterday about Sears chain. It's about to close several stores. And which means that uh, in case you don't know, Sears also owns Kmart. So Kmart's going to be the first to go and it looks like it's the end of Kmart. And Sears, of all people, the original uh, catalog people for the pioneers who built houses and delivered them prepackaged houses in the old prairie in the 1800s uh, is now going belly up. Well, perhaps they'll just go back to the way they were, which was catalog sales. And there's a great deal of money in that. But uh, as far as a Sears store, when you go in anyway, to me, it's like a moribund store. It's the old fashioned, clunky, you know, not, not really streamlined stores. It's like, you know, minimum wage employees and no different than um, Walmart or anything like that. So they didn't invest in that part of it. And it's always like a struggle to get something. And it's like yeah, old fashioned. So that means old fashioned doesn't last unless it's really cute and, you know, like uh, cool retro. But old fashioned does not sell, doesn't work anymore because of the, the new paradigm, fast computers, fast eating, fast behavior, fast friendships <laughs> and there you have it there's my update of business as it stands in our community and everywhere else do 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 now this was a gourmet hot dog stand but at $14 a hot dog it didn't last I think about a year now we've turned to the newest craze which is juice juice crafters so you can go in there and get a a double dose of green slime vomit looking drink which is healthy for you but it's horrible i'm not too much on complete healthy because a this is not complete healthy this is fake healthy i guarantee you that the ingredients in their juices are not pure i guarantee you that there's no one who sells pure stuff unless it's a real health food store and you, you know you can look at the ingredients but these i'm not saying it's all fake but i'm saying it's like it's get the, the healthy stuff off your mind because there are too many chemicals and too many other substitutes that you know make it not really what they advertise it to be but people I see all the time coming in oh give me a five dollar uh, drink and a nine dollar sandwich they come, same thing come out with about forty dollars worth of healthy fresh smoothies and why a smoothie costs fourteen dollars I don't get it but there you have it that's just me I'm old-fashioned I like that. I like that little bit of retro there. In fact, I could duplicate that and I will. And that. Look at that. That's just pipe fits and a bit of wood. Love it. Dead good. And I love the, the decor. Don't get me wrong. This is a cool looking little shop. But if it was full of healthy, real healthy, home baked, like a, a local person baked home, really good breads and really good pastries and made other good stuff that was really, really, really healthy, then it would be a good place. In the meantime, You'll have to take this because that's all we've got. But well, I'm compelled to comment on this because whoever put this in was it's a boneheaded idea. Oh sure it looks cute, you can come and land your bike here and casually walk around. But for heaven's sake, a tenth and orange, the most congested light in our community, it takes, I swear to God, seven, eight minutes to get through it because it's a four-way. You've got one on the other side of the street, right in the street. It doesn't make any bloody sense except somebody's brain fart came to life. You take away a critical factor here. When this light turns, you want to get through traffic as much as you can. Some people block, and they do block every day, this other lane. And, that, and that's because of this. There used to be a little, you could just take a right around the, uh, the parked car there, but now you're blocked. And uh, it's awful if that person isn't going uh, going to make a right, you've got to wait on top of the light. So this is a stupid idea and they should put them right on the edge of the sidewalk here. You've got a big wide sidewalk. This whole thing could be accommodated right here in this four, in these squares. Don't need for all the other bollards out there for protection. Just put the bloody things right there. 
I'm going to lobby until I get the mayor, Casey Tanaka, to take another look at this stupid, short-sighted uh, bike thing that has been taken over the community with fancy bike lanes with neon lights on and all kinds of other stuff that they demand. Well, enough. Get this stuff off the streets so we can move our traffic. It, it impedes traffic, and that's my report, and I'm sticking